everyone. Today I'm talking about the difference between love and infatuation. So it's really important to talk about these two things when we're talking about toxic relationships. But first, in case you don't know me or you're new here, I want to introduce myself. My name is Lindsay O'Brien and I am a coach and an energy healer and I help women heal from toxic relationships so they can feel free, happy, and empowered to reclaim their lives. So this week I am actually giving away five free discovery sessions. So if you are interested in working with me, send me a message and you can get on the schedule for one of these discovery sessions. These are sessions where we go deep into what you're struggling with and what you're hoping to overcome and heal from, and we come up with a plan to help you move forward and to take back your life. Okay, so send me a message if you are interested in booking one of those sessions. All right, so let's, <clears throat> excuse me, let's get into it here. What is the difference between love and infatuation? So it's really important to understand this distinction because often infatuation can lead us into toxic relationships because we can become so blinded by the intensity of what's happening to us that we miss the very, very objective or obvious signs that someone is not the right partner for us. So let me know if you guys have experienced this because I'd be very curious to hear what your experiences and stories are about love versus infatuation. So, okay, infatuation. When you are experiencing infatuation, it's pretty intense. There's a lot of passion. You can be experiencing lust. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of excitement. It's very intense. We're talking about high levels of chemistry. Um, it can also be sort of an obsessive feeling, like you feel like you can't stop thinking about this person. Um, and infatuation is in general very short-lived. It's not something that can last years and years because it's mostly chemicals, hormones, um, and emotions. It's really intense. Okay, so that's infatuation. Love is very calm. Love is essentially acceptance. That's it. So it's calm, it's peaceful, it feels safe. It's not the roller coaster of infatuation. And in fact, love is actually, like real genuine love is actually not emotional. This might sound crazy, but how, like, how do we know this? How do I know this? Well, if you're into spirituality or you're on a spiritual path, you might um, be able to relate to this. Someone who is completely enlightened is by definition unconditionally loving, right? They accept you completely. So someone who is completely enlightened does not actually feel the emotion of love. It's pretty interesting, right? So I bring this up, not because I'm, I'm promoting that everyone should go out there and become enlightened, but I bring it up because it tells us something about the nature of real love, or what love actually is. It's not emotional. It's just complete acceptance of someone, okay? It's quiet, it's peaceful. That's why when you get around someone who is completely enlightened, it's a very safe feeling. It's a very calm feeling. It's a very peaceful feeling. Okay. So uh, this is very important to understand the distinction here because infatuation is a super high, it's intense, it's short lived and real genuine love is calm. It's peaceful. It's essentially acceptance. So when you are in a relationship, especially in the beginning, you can have both. 
You can have real love and you can have infatuation and that's okay. That's normal. Um, I don't want you to think that feeling infatuation is a bad thing or you're, you want to avoid it. No, it happens. It happens when you're really interested in someone and you're dating and you're getting to know someone and in the very beginning stages of a relationship. But don't confuse infatuation with love and overlook red flags, you know, um, or just very, very objective signs that someone is not right for you. Because infatuation is not love, it's infatuation, <laughs> okay? Um, yeah, so infatuation can oftentimes blind us from seeing objectively if someone is right for us or not, okay? So if you're wanting to know, you know, am I really in love here? Well, do you accept this person unconditionally? And maybe there's some things you have to work through to get to that point where you accept them completely. But the answer is not, well, I feel this emotional high for them. I must be in love. No, that's not exactly what it is. All right, guys, I hope that this was helpful for you. Um, again, if you're uh, in earlier, if you're, if you're coming in late to this video, I'm giving away five free discovery sessions this week if you are interested in working with me. So send me a message and we can get you on the calendar. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.